this is what's underneath my what was left of my deck boards um started having some wiring issues and i didn't realize all this had packed full of dirt i should have but i think what i'm gonna do is put a piece of steel plate in here at least back uh to a point here to where um, we don't lose or this doesn't happen again basically um, this just sifts down through the boards or what was left of them <clears throat> it probably didn't do too bad until the boards got rotten but uh having some wiring issues and i think this is part of the problem here maybe so whenever they built this trailer they built this tub in here this is the fifth wheel plate and uh they didn't allow any room for drainage and i never really thought much about it you know you think about dirt might get down in there but this thing was pretty near all the way full of dirt and as you can see i cleaned some of it out i still got some to clean out but i need to burn some holes in this um i'm gonna have to sh get rid of some water first so but i'm gonna burn a few holes in this and then uh what i'm gonna do is in i'm gonna come back in with a piece of steel plate and bring that back up level with the top of this uh uh i-beam and i'm gonna enclose that back and i'm gonna build this to where it can be hinged up and i could use this for storage if i ever needed to i could throw chains in there and lock them up uh, out of sight where nobody know where they're at so uh but anyway that's my little project for today yeah, get rid of some water and i got some oak floorboards um i'm gonna put in here on top of these i'm gonna get well i'm gonna get rid of these but i got some new boards put in there i'm gonna redeck it uh, i'm gonna do the ends a little different than the way they did them but uh, i think it's gonna work out but i got a lot to do i gotta i need to quit talking about it and get with it looks like but this is a triple lot tip. We'll see if it's going to work. I'm going to run the cleaner through it one more time. <laughs> right right there okay striking a striking a lighting a torch um the way i was taught to do it is turn your gas up until you don't get any smoke and then set your oxygen until your, uh, your cones are all perfectly same color hear that crackling crackling means your tip's really sharp um, if i turn my oxygen up too much or that's down that's not enough I turn it up too much the cones turn the uh, light blue and right where they clean up is where you want it right there
Well, I'm putting finishing up putting decking boards on the top deck here. Um, I got one in there that shouldn't be in there. It's too loose, but uh, I probably do this different than anybody else, and I may do it wrong. I don't know, but this is how I like to do it. I like to notch the ends so that I can put a piece of angle iron to hold each end down, fit them in there as tight as I can get them. Um, I made the mistake on these of leaving them a little loose, and they shrink up a little bit, and and you got big gaps. Um, so this is, I gotta finish this board up. I was gonna show you how I did this here. But uh, basically just take your saw and set it to the depth you need it. This might actually be a little deep on this one, but. Anyhow. Like I say, this is probably not the right way to do it. But it's how I did it, and it's how I want to do it. But in my experience, the deck screws just don't hold up, and uh, these do. So after you make a cut, just knock the extra pieces out. That might be, it might weaken the board a little bit, but it's right here on the end. That's not where you're going to get a lot of weight on it. Uh, braces are usually out here in the middle, but this just keeps the end of it secure. If your bolts break off, they don't come loose. They don't fly off the trailer or pop out. Well, like I say, these old trailers get twi they get twisted around a bunch. And... Let's see if this board's gonna fit in there. It's gonna fit a little bit tight, looks like, but but we're just about to get this thing wrapped up. I got my box built up here for my. This used to be wood and that's a bad idea over this because you can't get access to your wiring and when this gets full of dirt you can't get the dirt out. So I've got it enclosed in steel now. I put hinges on this lid so I'll be able to lift it up. I plan on bolting down some, uh, I've got some old conveyor belt I'm going to bolt down and I'm going to have it lap over the steel. And that'll kind of give my buckets a cushion so that maybe it won't dent that up too bad. That's one thing I worry about on that door is it's only a quarter inch plate, but I did brace up under it, so it should hold up, I think. But anyway, uh, set you up here and watch, let you watch my fight with this deal. Fits in that end easy. It'll just drive down in there. There we go. We'll drop this in here. that i think just gotta weld all those down um but i know uh i haven't been stopped yet but dot would look at my floor i had on here and they'd probably say this is not safe and they they could write up a violation for it probably it wouldn't be out of service i'm sure but so anyway i'm gonna get it cleaned up a little better here the boards I'll probably treat with some 
uh, used motor oil at some point. Right now it's been raining and they're all wet, so I'm gonna let them dry out. And uh, I was gonna do a little work on the lower deck, but I think after dealing with all of this and uh, I'm gonna, well, I may work on it. I'm gonna be rained out probably next week, some too, so I may work on it next week. I don't know, we'll see, but just trying to wrap this part up. Trying to get this finished up, I'm almost there. She's a little dirty, but uh, got her out, got her running. 86, 250R. What do you say we go do some mud? This might be fun.
Sure. <laughs>